about the probable consequences of climate change. Over to you, Mark. How are you doing? All right. Today I'm going to talk to you about climate change. Let's say the chances of climate change are likely. What if the increase in temperature of the Earth was the cause of human action? Well, if so, some of the consequences will be extensive melting of ice, a rise in sea levels followed by salinisation in groundwater and estuaries, and a decrease in available fresh water for humans and ecosystems. OK, so what if ice is melting? What then? Water supply is stored in glaciers and snow cover is to decline rapidly within our century. This could cause a knock-on effect, as the reduction of plankton within ice, that is the major food source for sea life, will cause animals to become hungry, eventually leading to extinction. And that's not good, right? So what about other climate issues? What if change to biodiversity was the cause of human action? Things like the conversion of forest and grasslands into croplands results in local extinction of plant and animal species, such as leopards, penguins, frogs, and much more. Also, deforestation leaves humans and animals alike with no habitat, meaning they have to find a suitable home, but may end up where they are unable to find shelter and food. Right, enough. With all these probable causes of our actions today, why do we persist to waste resources when there is scientific evidence that proves humans are the likely causes of increasing global warming? Whether climate change happens or not as a cause of human action, let's not find out the hard way. <sighs> Help! Is anyone there? Thank <laughs> you.